Beast underscore taker zero zero zero. You have been acknowledged. Metal Driver here, and today I am doing the obligatory top 10 video of 2022. But I'm not going to do a best of simply because calling something the best is such a subjective term. And who am I to decide on what is the best? So instead, what I'm going to do is show you my top 10 favorite figures of the year. The ones that I love the most, the ones that I enjoyed the most. And my list is going to encompass WWE Elites, Ultimate Editions, and AEW figures. So my list may be very different than yours. So while you're watching this, comment down below on what are your favorite figures of the year. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what are Metal Driver's top 10 favorite figures of 2022. Coming in at number 10 is the new Attitude Era Ultimate Edition Kane, and I literally got this figure yesterday, so I couldn't put him any higher in my list, because this is the last week of 2022 as of this recording, so I've barely had time to mess around with it, but I absolutely love it. As I mentioned in that review, which if you haven't seen, go ahead and check that out, that I love the inverted attire look. It's one of my favorite attires of Kane, and I think Mattel did a great job with this Ultimate Edition. It's a nice little improvement over the original because there is added some added detail that the original does not have. They in fact gave it this figure a new chess piece, which I greatly appreciate. Had it come in a little bit earlier in the year, it would have made it much higher on the list. And in fact, I actually wouldn't be surprised if I see this in some other people's lists next year. Since Mattel is doing another round of the cane and the ring January 4th, so be on the lookout for that. Coming in at number 9, it is Elite 98-98 Rick Boogs. I really love love how this figure looks. I love the overall attire, the material that's used on the top, and I love the guitar he comes with. Now we have seen acoustic guitars by Mattel, but I don't think we've ever seen an electric guitar. I think this figure is really fun, so much so that I now include him in my outro video. So I think he's definitely deserving of a top 10 spot, at least on my list. Coming in at number 8 is Unrivaled Series 10, Britt Baker. Now this one actually made the list unlike the Supreme Collection one because I wasn't really a fan of how the head sculpts look on that one. In fact, I still have mine in its box. I haven't opened it. Something about that figure just didn't really sit well with me. However, Unrivaled 10, Britt Baker looks really good. I love the entire design and I love the head sculpt. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you may know that I am of the belief that a head sculpt can make or break a figure. In this case, the head sculpt, in my opinion, makes the unrivaled version better than the Supreme one. Coming in at number 7 is Elite 93 Seth Rollins. I appreciate that it has a brand new head sculpt. I like the body and the coat that it comes with is not the standard plastic coat that we see. It's got this rubbery sleeves that allow you to actually articulate the arms, which is pretty cool. A nice solid figure. In fact, all the elites of Seth Rollins that have come out this year have been pretty good, but I like Elite 93 a little bit more than the others. Coming in at number 6 is Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar. Fantastic figure. I love the added hip joint articulation that this figure features and an overall great representation of the current look for Brock Lesnar. A solid figure and my favorite Brock figure of the year. Coming in at number 5 is Legend Series 15 Kane. I think this is a great improvement over the previous two Kane from this time period. He's got double jointed elbows, great detail on the attire, and best of all is the head sculpt. Again, as I said, a head sculpt can make or break a figure. In this case, the head sculpt really makes the figure and I've been meaning to add him to my intro video However, I'm debating if I should add him or the new ultimate Kane coming in at number four is supreme collection Kenny Omega. This is a great figure my favorite Kenny. I love the butterfly joints and I am a fan of the swappable legs on the Supreme figures. I know some people may not be crazy about that. I don't mind. I think that's pretty cool. And this is a great Kenny figure. Brand new head sculpts that look great. I had fun posing this figure. Coming in at number three is the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. I love the attire choice. The red attire looks really great. And in my opinion, it is an improvement over the previous Ultimate figure. This one has better articulation. And I like the entrance gear, the soft goods chat the hat, and it features removable earrings, which is really cool. Coming in at number 2 is Ultimate Edition 13 Hulk Hogan. Now, if you watch my Coliseum Collection Hulk Hogan review, I said that I was getting sick and tired of, of all the Hogan figures, feeling a little bit burnt out because we got a lot this year. But even though I feel that way, 
I also feel that this Ultimate Hulk Hogan is the best representation of 80s Hogan. I think Mattel did a great job. The articulation, the accessories, the head scans are all amazing. And I am confident in saying that this figure has dethroned the Storm Collectibles as the best 80s Hogan figure. Honestly, the only little gripe that I have with it is that I wish the skin tone matched the Storm Collectibles one because I do think the skin tone on that figure looks a little bit better. But aside from that, if you can only have one Hulk Hogan in your collection, this is the one to have. And for some honorable mentions, the Target exclusive Ultimate Edition Batista. It is a great representation of Ruthless Aggression Batista. The best one in my opinion. Great accessories. And I love the head sculpts. Especially that screaming one. <laughs> my second honorable mention goes to the top talent John Cena that is labeled 2023 even though came out in 2022 but regardless it is a great looking figure a great representation of John Cena in his prime and it is an upgrade to an old Mattel figure better shirt better articulation better head scan and honestly if Mattel is willing to go back to the older figures and update them I am all for it and finally, my absolute favorite wrestling figure of 2022 is none other than the Supreme Collection, Cody Rhodes. Not only did we get one Cody, but we got a second version, a Walmart exclusive with different color attire. I have both and I absolutely love them. Being that I am a big Cody Rhodes fan, I was really excited to get this figure because not only does he work with the AEW line, but it's pretty much the same attire that he wore when he returned to WWE. So he easily fits in with your Mattel collection. Fantastic figure, great looking piece, great head scans, awesome articulation, and I absolutely love the coat that he comes with. Yes, it is a plastic coat, but he comes with articulated sleeved arms, so you don't miss out on any articulation, great posability. And even though I'm excited for that upcoming Elite, I highly doubt that's going to beat this Cody figure. I'm willing to bet that this Supreme Cody will probably be my favorite until we get that Ultimate Edition from Mattel Creations. Maybe that one might be better, but until then, the best Cody Rhodes figure to have is the Supreme Collection one. So those were my favorite figures of 2022. Let me know what yours were. And if you want to know what some of my most disappointing figures of the past year, well, stay tuned and watch out for the next video.